G'day everyone, welcome to another trip vid. So we're coming, I don't know if you can hear that, there's whip cracking going on in the moment, I'll tell you about that in a sec. Um, we're at a hip camp at the moment called 100 Acre Woods, and I've just realized when Miranda told me that, that's where Winnie the Pooh lives, isn't it? Anyway, um, we're not that far from Mandrew, about 100, 120 k's uh, south of Perth. And this place is obviously 100 acres, and there's how many sites? There's quite a few. There's quite a few sites here. There's some two-wheel drive accessible locations and also four-wheel drive spots, which is where we are nestled amongst the, the jarrah and the gum trees. And it's quite a beautiful property, actually. And we shot into Mandra, into the estuary, and did a little bit of crabbing uh, this afternoon. Caught nothing, which is the story of me when it comes to catching seafood for my family. So burgers for dinner tonight. Now, as far as the whip cracking goes, Cam's got a couple of little mates here, Kobe and his family, Ken, Daniela, who also own a Robbo. We met them on the Gibb River Road when we did our big trip and we caught up again. And we're here for four nights. We're gonna be just chillaxing, crabbing, having a few drinks, cooking some food and just having a good old time. So let's get into it. Good morning everyone, couldn't help myself. Got up early to come and watch the sunrise with my morning coffee. This property, 100 acre woods, it is so peaceful. It's beautiful. I've already seen a couple of kangaroos bouncing around. Apparently emus visit the property. Uh, there's some echidnas, haven't seen any of those yet. They're pretty, um, <laughs> they're pretty timid little creatures. Um, B and her husband came and visited us last night just to have a little bit of a chat, introduce themselves. They're the hosts, they own this property. A lovely couple, and they just want to allow people to experience um, like just the natural beauty of their property, which is awesome. And they've done it in such a good way. They don't have loads of campsites. There's only nine, I think, spread around the 100 acres. And some of the sites cater for bigger groups, but they're so separated from each other, so you really feel like you're nestled in your own little, your own little area, which is fantastic. And they said you're welcome to walk around the property. They got three dams which you can go and visit. And in winter you can canoe on there. Um, we're not that far out of summer. It's been a hot summer here um, in WA, so they're pretty empty at the moment. Yeah, but they just want to invite people onto their property to experience this basically um yeah it's 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 really good it's 100 acres that's huge that's like 40 hectares i've always got to do that conversion i used to work on golf courses and the last course i worked on was 20 or 25 hectares so this property is like one and a half golf courses that's the way that i i think about it yeah anyway um a lot of good views as well just wandering around, it's quite hilly terrain. We're on the North Dandelup Scarp. That's where this property is. We're about half an hour from Mandra, uh, where we took off and went crabbing yesterday. And who we're camping with, Daniela, she's just mad keen about crabbing, hey? She loves it. So we're gonna be going back, doing that a couple of times uh, while we're here, see if we can catch ourselves some dinner. Um, barbecue crab, crab curry, fingers crossed, right? Uh, also, being a husband, the host, I was just mentioning, 
up the top near their place. They got some sheep you can go and visit, but there's also a teepee with something lurking inside. So that might be a little bit of excitement to take the kids there and check that out a little bit later, see what that's all about. But for the moment, I'm just gonna enjoy the solitude. I was just making my way back to camp and I came across this. Did anybody realize that ants make highways? All those lines that you see in the ground look like scars. They're all leading to separate ant nests. I had no idea. So, not far from where we're camped, Ken had actually pointed out to me there's a massive big ant's nest and there's all these lines coming off it. So I only discovered last night that ants have their own highways and I've just come across another one. That's really bizarre, hey? There you go. Nothing super exciting, just an interesting little factoid. I'm probably late to the game, everybody probably already knows that. <laughs> weird, man, it's weird. Good morning, lazy bones. Good morning, thank you. Day's getting away from us. Come on, chop, chop, let's go. Too cold out. We got crabs to catch. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's thank right, you've already you. got crabs, haven't you? Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Back to bed. Mm -hmm. Oh, enjoy. Thank you. That's what places like this are all about, eh? Mm -hmm. Chilling out, relaxing. Yep. Yep. Time to hit the road for a bit of exploring. Got the crab scoops up top. Let's see if we catch ourselves some dinner. Have what do you, you reckon? Have you packed the fishing rods too for a backup plan? Yes. Yeah. But fishing is not much of a backup plan, mate. Yeah. Not yeah. for us. Right, let's hit the road. So we decided to come back to the campsite, get ourselves some lunch before taking off, uh, doing a little bit more exploring, crabbing, stand up paddleboard, whatnot. Made myself a wrap. Check out what these guys are doing over here. 
got one sent to you text. What? One sent to you text. That's how to do that. Just one hell of a way to whisk your cream, eh? Works, though. What's that? <laughs> That's really good. Mum, why do you pull me out of the plane? Scones. Uh -oh. Scones. Nom, nom, nom. Can't we have scones? It says you have to rough it while you're camping, eh? Sorry? It says you have to rough it while you're camping. Yeah. <laughs> Do you do that quite often, scones? Yeah, yeah. Alright, scones are awesome. Let's just pack it. Add milk, roll them up, pop them in. James, oh, you lost cream. me. Are you, you lost me, I don't do packet food. Are you making a I don't do packet food. <laughs> smells awesome. Straight out of a packet. <laughs> You're cheating. What's your secret with this one? We should have filmed it. It's out of a packet. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of... Small packet for four serves. Packet. Out of a packet. Mm -hmm. Just what you've done with it. Mm -hmm. The way I've stirred it. Yeah. What have we got here? Just some curry pasta out of a packet. <laughs> some corn on the cob. Still with the packets. Mm -hmm. One day we'll get a meal from scratch. Oh, he's good. Pack it. <laughs> Mate, honestly, scones awesome. while you're camping, hey? Dum dum. Yum. Did you say thank you? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have I, has my face been revealed yet? Mm. Yeah. Almost as good as Ellen Bray. Yeah. Almost. They're a bit fluffier here. Yeah. Well, there's aren't out of a packet, Daniela. Oh, that was my plan. I'm only joking. It's all right. I'll get another one. How excited are you, Daniela, about going crabbing? I can't wait. Let's go and get these little blue crabbies. <laughs> so, what's on the menu tonight? Is it crab. crab curry or is it garlic barbecue crab? Or is it fish curry? Or is it um, fish curry? Or you got some lamb out the freezer in case we don't come back with anything, yeah? Chicken. I'm not crab cabanara, Ken said. Crab cabanara. Crab cabanara, okay, all right. So let's bag out, yeah? 10 each, that's 40. Women! Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Camo's just getting the gay. Should we drive away from him, or is that getting old? It's never it was old, old years never ago. Too old. What, Camo didn't want to help him? No, because I didn't want to get... Hey, 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 press down the button. I didn't, I don't want to do it because I know that he's going to drive away from me. I just know it. Thanks, Camo. No. We'll see you when we get back. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? He goes, okay, what? what? <laughs> Crap curry, here we come. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So Miranda's employing a new tactic when it comes to uh, seafood gathering. She's basically not letting me do it. She's doing it herself. She doesn't trust my ability to harvest food no. naturally. No, I don't. No. <laughs> and how many crabs have you caught? <laughs> how well, many? We've only uh, been in a couple of minutes. Mm, mm. Yeah, so let's see. Go on. First keeper, eh? Well done. Yeah, just. Just size. Just size. So, I'm gonna have to say, boys v girls. Yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> we're off to a bad start because Daniela caught that one. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon they'll get us too. Your missus seems pretty keen. She the is. The whole crabbing man, she's dedicated. Yeah, she is. She loves it. Well, you seem very proud of yourself. Yeah, I've caught. Three little babies, two which came back and attacked me, and one that made me into the bucket. Almost got me straight. Oh, nice that's one. That's what happened to me last time. I think this little one's Yeah, mine. that's the one you caught, yeah, because yeah, this one's really blue on that. How many you, have you got in your bucket? Zero. <laughs> Zero. Oh, what were you Are you saying? happy now? Yes. Are you happy? Yeah, I am happy. Yeah. yeah. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. 
change your room up, would you? Size great. Just keep on, uh, yes. Right, oh, the final crab count it was only three. Me one, Miranda one, so she didn't beat me. Daniella caught one as well, but they're probably going to be dinner tomorrow night. Tonight it's just pizzas in the Ziggy, and they're whipping up a chicken carbonara as well. So I don't think we're gonna get much filming done tonight, to be honest, so I'll let that warm up, have our pizzas, and we'll catch us in the morning. Good morning. Uh, no morning sunrise with philosophical musings. We actually had a visitor last night. So the kids are super duper excited. Happy Easter, everyone. I can't in your thing. No. Yeah. All over the bush, it's fine. Pia, come here. Come, you missed the eggs. You have some more to uh, Look at all of those. Oh, I see you more. You can have the smarty egg. Oh. Uh, smarty egg. Smarty egg. We're all full of chalky eggs, hey, Jacqueline? No. I'm gonna go check out this. <laughs> gonna go check out the TP. See what's lurking inside? Come on. It's just a piece of toilet paper. What? That's what a TP is. Toilet paper. Oh, <laughs> TP, toilet paper, right, got it. So we're actually a little bit out of practice with the whole hiking and bushwalking. How's your legs? It's okay. I was burning a bit there, but now I'm good. Good to go. Breathing pretty heavy. I am breathing <laughs> heavy, but my legs are good. You can see a TP. Imagine this being your backyard, hey? Imagine your backyard being big enough to have, you know, a dozen people camping on it yeah. and still having heaps of room. Oh, there's the goats and the sheep. Yeah, hey guys. Oh, you're hey guys. coming over for a look. Hi. Hi. Come on. Come and say hi. Oh my god! Did you know there's a big red back above you, Jacqueline? You're not worried? Why did they take my place to follow us? Oh, hey guys. He's had, one. he's had one, he's had one, he's had one, and the three at the back. So Mr. Blackface here hasn't. <laughs> Hello, darling. No, yeah. no, you've already had some, sweetheart. you got to yeah. share it around. Hey! Quick, get it. There's an old cinnamon. There's an old cinnamon. Hi. Do I not in here? No. I guess you're allowed to feed it. You haven't had any yet. You haven't. Wait, She's been very sweet up here. Yeah. You're Mr. Greedy Guts. No wonder why you've got a big tummy. Have she have one? I don't know now. Oh, she's trying to eat. I've been greedy. I've been greedy. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom, nom. I know. Oh, oh. Hey, so tell us how you made these, Danny. <laughs> You rip the heads off, clean the guts out, you chuck in some awesome <laughs> seasoning, and cook them. chuck them on the Weber and oh man, they look, this afternoon we're going to go get some more. They look amazing, eh? So that's just garlic butter in the middle. Yeah. And cook them on the barbie. Butter? Fantastic. Do we use garlic butter? Well, if you don't mind mid-afternoon. Can't, can't mind. I can't wait to go so um, kayaking. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, boom, boom. oh they're warm. Yeah, that's how what I like. Oh, yeah, that's the one that lost his nipple when we dropped it. His what? No, he dropped it and then I had a spaz oh, attack. I dropped it that. and I kept running. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give me oh, your God. bones. That's mm. amazing. Carmen, as long as you eat it, darling, okay? Thanks, Mom, Danielle. you should start yeah, making a restaurant for this. Mom, you should... Oh, man, those crabs are so good. Inspired us to go out and get some more. As awesome as they were, that wasn't enough. 
hope we have more than three this time. All right, Daniela, as awesome as those three garlic infused crabs were, we need more. So what's on the menu tonight? Is it crab garlic, curry. Is it garlic barbecue crabs or is it crab curry? I'm thinking both, if we can get the numbers up. So if we can get 10 and 20. Just going for the curry and 10 garlic and butter because it's just easier for the kids to pick it. So we're going to aim for 50 tonight. You can only okay, so what happens when we only come home with five? What are you going to turn that into? It's a hard one. Yeah, I think chili crab. Chili crab sounds like a winner to me. Well, we got the pork belly defrosting just in case we don't come home with enough crab. So at least we got a backup plan, which isn't a bad backup plan, let's be honest. Pork belly is pretty good. Especially Miranda's pork belly and the ziggy with nice crispy flesh. We're gonna have to cook it up anyway, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be a feast tonight. Not much in crabs, but so yeah, pork belly and crabs sounds good. And can shoulder roast mixture thing. Thing. Fight it's a plan. First step, we need crabs. Greenland roast, here we go. Keeper so far. Time for refreshments. Cheers. You know what I like? The boys are on shore drinking the beers and the women are out there trying to catch dinner. Yeah, yeah well, it's hard to do better than I did. <laughs> Daniela! Keeper! I, I do. Might... Hang on, wait, stop. <laughs> I've. He's only got one pincer. Oh, yeah. yeah, what the hell? What is this? I know. That's true. Look at the meat. This is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh, I didn't know you were filming. Oh. At least we got two though. Big. Pork belly for dinner. That's it. Oh, the crabs were a nice little starter. Now the moment of truth. How are we looking, honey? We're looking like we're looking. We're looking like we got crackled pork belly. Winner, winner. Well done. It's completely dry, but yeah, we got that it. That is not dry. That is delicious. No, that's good. Cool. Well we done. got dinner. Well done. Thank you. And I think Let's we'll call that a night. Out. Good morning. Man, it got windy last night. Hey? I had to come out and put some extra guy ropes down to anchor the awning. It was flapping about a little bit. That was just before bedtime. Um, it got really chilly as well. So that's why I've got the Ugg boots, the tracky dax, the winter jacket, and the flano. I should have put my beanie on because my ears are pretty cold. Got the diesel heater on at the moment, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's our last full day here. Not entirely sure what we're gonna be getting up to, to be honest. Um, probably just gonna be a bit of a lazy day, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe go back out crabbing again, but probably not. We had really bad luck. Uh, the last sort of three times that we've been out, we've only had five keepers. Like yesterday, man, I had at least half a dozen that were just that smidgy too small. 
Anyway, that's fishing or crabbing. Where Super lazy day today, except there's been a construction project happening. Mm -hmm. You wanna come and show it to me? Yeah. Go. Yeah. The towels are just on there for shade. You want to tell me about it? So this is um, the living room. <laughs> the living room, yeah. Yeah, but then you got a little painting station right here. A painting station? Wow, this place has got you everything. You got sunbathe right here. Oh, sunbathe, there's a little, oh, you got a window to let the sun in, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got some rocks, so if we need to sharpen something. Oh, could. you can sharpen your tools on the rock, yeah. Yeah, if you want to come in. Of course. Okay. Is there room for me? Yep. I don't know. Room straight in the middle. Oh, thank you. On the mat and everything, eh? <laughs> oh. Hey, you guys going to sleep in here tonight? This is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I really want to. I think it might get a bit cold in here. We could just put loads of blankets on. I don't think that'll work. Oh, this is really cool, girls. I might uh, Look, leave you to it, eh? Duct tape, string, and twine. And some other stuff. Duct tape, string, and cable ties. Yeah. <laughs> Part of any decent toolkit and, and um, TP construction. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad way to end our stay at uh, 100 Acre Woods, is it? Nice, no, right? beautiful. Lovely job, Very nice. Yes. You want to give me a kiss for the camera? No, I don't. No, okay, <laughs> we'll have a look at the sunset. <laughs>